Hey, yo, what's the vibe, my melanated ones? Y'all know who it is. Hey, yo, family, check it out, man. Before we start this video, we got to send prayers out to DMX and his family, man. You know, DMX OD'd last night. God, you know, God willing, he's still here. Thanks to the creator. The brother's still here, but he's he's still, like, on life. I think they say he's on life support. He's breathing. I think he's breathing for himself, but it don't look good for him. I mean, you know, DMX has had his past with the drugs and all that, and the, the people that know, we already know that. Scooby has had his time with drugs, so, you know, your time do run out. I'm hoping and praying that this is not his time to check out, B, because the dude, he's gifted in so many ways. I mean, outside of him being a marvelous rapper, he's a lyrical, he's just a very spiritual dude, if you understand what I'm saying. And it's bad that he had to go through the situations in life he went through, because DMX has struggled with this drug addiction from the beginning of time. He said from a very tender age of 14, he been doing crack. And there's no disrespect to what he do, but you know what, people grow up different. I mean, so I never crucify nobody for what they do in life. It's because I understand the struggles that we do go through. But I do want to send prayers and condolences and all, but he's not dead. But I do want to send prayers and all that to him and his family, man. I hope you pull through, brother. I mean, we love you and we, Wishing the best for you, man. You stay up, you get home, man. I hope you get home. Get home, get clean, and try to stay clean, man. I know it's hard. Brother, I know it's hard. I got people, I had people in my family still do that can't give it up. But at the end of the day, man, you got to fight for what you believe in. And you got a good heart, X, man, because the people that know X got a good heart. But see, when it comes to them demons, sometimes them demons is harder than your fight. And, it had, and the demons has outfought me sometimes, so I know how it be. But, brother, we got to continue to fight, man. I just wanted to shout the brother out, man. I mean, I hope he pulled through. Now, with this now, family, check this out. On to another topic. Not even on to another topic because I forgot out, I forgot to shout out the people that rock, donate, and support to my channel, man. I'll never forget y'all. Uh, like always, I support the people that has been rocking. So, man, if y'all do anything positive, t positive towards this channel, I love and support y'all. I rock with y'all just as much as y'all rock with me. Now on to the next one, man. I got this dude out in Tennessee. I think he's out in Tennessee. I think his name is um, John something. Was it John? It don't even matter Scooby's name. But at the end of the day, Scooby felt some kind of way last night. Well, the night before when I ended the video with Jay. And I said, well, damn, I wish I could do an interview with Jay. If anybody knew how to get in contact with Jay, let him know. I'll do a sit down with the brother, man. I would like to, I would love to have a conversation with him. And for some odd reason, this dude here felt some kind of way and going to tell me out of all the people that I could interview, why would I interview? Well, no, this ain't, that ain't what he said. I don't want to miss. Let me tell you what he said. Out of all the black people that's doing good things in the community for black people, why would you want to interview Jay? Now, I'm not going to take nothing from the brother, man, because it is a, it's quite a few good people and black people doing good things for the black community. I ain't got no problem with that. My beef wasn't with that. My beef is with, why not, Jay? You making it seem like, oh, it's a bad thing to do an interview with Jay. Why is that a bad thing? I mean, I sit around and watch YouTube all day and see some of the biggest idiots get interviewed day in and day out. But time I say I'll do an interview with Jay, it's a problem? That's crazy. Y'all will sit around and have little yachty interviews and... And, and little corn muffins like that interviews, but anybody that makes a little bit of sense and try to change some amongst black people, it's a problem with. Because, see, you got your little 200 subscribers. You understand what I'm saying? I see your little channel. You, I mean, no disrespect to what you got going over, going on over there. But at the end of the day, if you 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 interview who you want to interview, I mean, you, you, you deal with what you want to deal with. See, you don't even deal with these kind of topics anyway, so I don't even know how you ended up over here. I mean, but you got the nerve to tell me out of all the black people, all the positive black people that's doing positive things for the community, why you choose him? Why not him, Scooby? At the end of the day, why not him? You name somebody right now that's doing something that has not already been done before. Because see what Jay doing. I mean, granted, what you going to say, yeah, the Black Panthers did do it. But then, I mean, at the end of the day, you got to understand something wasn't done in this formal way. And that was no low blow to the Panthers because I love and support them brothers just as much as I love and support this NFAC. But at the end of the day, it was two different lanes and we dealing with two different ages, B. And I got to understand something, man. You ain't always got to push that, boo. And I tell people that on a regular basis. 
See, I got another whole channel. I tell people that for the bullshit. If you want to go check that, I got another whole channel for that. But over here, I ain't got no problem saying, B. I'm positively saying, man, I ain't got no problem supporting Jay. Got no problem interviewing that brother. And then I had a, a young lady ask me. I think this was like yesterday, a day before yesterday, too. She said she notices people with way less subscribers that get interviews with Jay. And I got 14,000 subscribers and I've never reached out to him. She asked me why I've never reached out. You got to understand, Princess, I have reached out. I mean, I have. I reached out on IG, but at the end of the day, the man was going through much at that time. I never got a reply back. Now, this is what I'm not going to do. I'm nobody stalker. I'm nobody harasser. I understand that man got a lot going on. And before that man, before I keep hitting his inbox up, asking him weird ass and uncomfortable questions, because I'm pretty sure he get a lot of them and he tried to curse me out, I left the situation alone. I feel eventually if Scooby felt like he wanted to reach out, if he get the mail, if he get the if he get the little message and all that, he'll email me back and be a set up son. But until then, I never received anything. And I never changed the way I felt about that movement or him. See what you got to understand, I'm a grown man. I don't run off emotions. If I ran off emotions, man, I wouldn't put up these videos. If I ran off emotions, I wouldn't push Jay. It's cause like I said, I don't agree with hundred percent of what that man say. But just because he say something i don't agree with did that mean i get mad at him and be like well i'm not gonna say nothing good about the brother no more i'm not gonna put up no videos about the brother no more see y'all y'all to see i'm that's that's grown man i'm a grown man so i don't ride off emotions that man can do whatever he want to do long as he's doing what's positive and my eyesight that i feel like is worth pushing and that's everything that nfac stand for that man i ain't got a problem with that man and it's sad that you do I mean, and then you shoot Umar Johnson at me. <laughs> like, I ain't got no problem with Umar Johnson in that school, but it was just so crazy. And I'm, I'm not I'm not saying nothing bad about Umar, but it was just so crazy you shoot Umar Johnson at me. And you really can't compare the two. I mean, no low blow to Umar Johnson and all that, but you can't. That is not even comparable, yo. That's two totally different movements that stand for two totally different things. They are two totally different individuals. I don't even know how you could bring him up. Would I do an interview with um, Umar Johnson? Hell yeah, I would, because I have a thousand and one questions to ask a brother. I'm for six, you know he he the type dude. He ain't really going to do too many interviews with regular YouTubers because he's feeling it's not going to get him the push he need. But that's neither here nor there. But I don't have no beef with um, Umar, man. I just feel like, well, some people know how I feel. A lot of that money that that man donated, and I have never been a pocket watcher because uh, I don't care how much money he have got, how much money he have collected during the course of 10 years or however many years he's been collecting this money. But I do believe it's a whole lot of money that was uncounted for. <laughs> that, that man did a whole lot of other things. That's how he met that stripper. And they say he was up in there making it rain up in um sugar beds. I don't even know. But at the end of the day, man, this wasn't even no low blow to Umar. But at the end of the day, I would do a vid I would do an interview with him. Of course I would. Just to ask him a few questions. But see, that's that separates him and and, and, and Jay. Cause see, Jay come to the he come to the grind. He come to the struggle. Coming to channels like us, man, with that. 13, what 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 homeboy had? I think like 1,300 subscribers. See, that's ground zero. When you come to people like me, that's ground zero. We don't have no subscribers. So then the people he touches, you understand what I'm saying? If it ain't a Vlad TV or somebody that's going to bring Umar X amount of, of views, he's not touching it. He ain't. And then, you know, he think people going to criticize him anyway. Jay stands strong. on the, He stands strong. So he don't care if you're going to criticize him or not. He going to be there. And he going to be there. You understand what I'm saying? So this wasn't no low blow to Umar. It was just funny that you brought him out. Like, well, I don't need, I'm not. And then this is what you say, though, which was crazy to me. I'm not even an Umar Johnson follower, but why not him? Okay. <laughs> what? That man. See, this is the crazy part. Of, I, okay. You don't have, you don't have, you are not a, um, a J follower, but why not him either? It go both ways. Hey, man, like I said, family, you know, people's entitled to their own opinion. I ain't want to make this video long. I did want to, I mean, let people know, man, keep DMX in your prayers. He needed, man. I hope he pulled through. 
I hope he pulled through, man. The dude is well needed, man. He's a well-loved brother out here. Everybody go through their ups and downs, man. We're going to pray for him. Keep him in our prayers, man. This drop, I love y'all. I'll drop a video off again probably tomorrow morning. Peace.